in traditional manufacturing, you need everything to be very, very, very controlled. Assembly lines with, with robots are not resilient. When one tiny thing changes, it has dramatic impacts on, on the upstream and downstream of that factory. And if we can come up with better tools that can just absorb that complexity for you, so if there were sensors in your, in your facility that could detect where your robots were, if you were to relocate a robot, or if you were to relocate uh, the object that the robot needed to interact with, if you were to change the tool on the robot, if that was something that, uh, that your tools could just sort of consume passively with sensor data, then you could, you could start doing much more complicated procedures with, with robots and other tools. During the process of manufacturing, we are collecting data. So for example, one of the components of the extruder bot is an advanced vision system that pretty much is based on a thermal camera. So we want to embrace the robot with an eye that cannot just look at the shape, but they can look inside. If I can look inside, I can inform the dream catcher that, look, these are the constraints, this is what I'm seeing. Okay. Although you want to follow this shape, I'm telling you that that shape is not possible. We are empowering the robot with the brain. So the brain, what me, is made of different sensors. Sensors allow the robot to collect information, and then by applying machine learning, the robot can actually process that one, and then it can do more than just move, but it can actually correct and collect knowledge that later on we can use in our platform in order to improve the value and make this part manufacturable for sure. My team is definitely interested in this vision of a future where robots are aware of their surroundings, are aware of the, the buildings that they're in, they're aware of the tools that are around them, they're aware of the people that are around them, and they're aware of what they've been tasked to do and ways that they could potentially do it. Our project with supervised high-rate metal printing is basically a MIG welder attached to a six-axis industrial robot. And a MIG welder, for those that aren't familiar, is sort of like the hot glue gun of welding. As we are building up our print, we basically ask our robot to continually assess the state of the print. So the robot is aware of the final model that, that it's trying to accomplish. The robot is aware of where on the print it should have finished. And then with sensors, it can measure the actual print and it can see that, oh wait, I should have been 30 millimeters above the ground, but I only, I'm only 28 millimeters above the ground. If I continue and go up from 30, I'm gonna miss my weld. Because of that, we've been able to produce like, very large and complicated objects in a single attempt, because anytime something does go wrong in the print, and we were able to successfully resume the print.